what's up guys it's mickguy welcome back to the part 8 of the tower defense game series so far we have a very cool game we have these different balloons with different speeds and waves and we have turrets that we can purchase for an amount of money you can rotate them to shoot with their projectiles and the health system is working and the money system is working so that's great to see However, I do think that in our game, we should have two portions. We should have a buying portion where people can buy the turrets from the shop. And we should have a wave portion where you actually can fight the balloons. So in order to keep track of which portion of the game we are in, we need to create a new variable and we're going to call it mode. And to start off, we're going to set mode to buy. And this is the buying portion of the game. However, in order to trigger the wave portion, we need to use a sprite. So I'm going to upload a costume. It's pretty simple. And it's going to be the button. And this is how it looks, so easy to recreate. What we're going to say is when flag is clicked, go to x something like, let's do middle, so 0, and a y of 155. That seems good. And what we need to do is say forever and then drag in an if else statement and an equal sign. And on the right side, we're going to say buy. And as you may guess, we're going to use the newly created mode variable. So if we are in the buying mode, show, otherwise hide, because we only want this to show when you're in the buying period. And then we're going to drag in an if statement and an and operator and then go into sensing and drag in the touching mouse pointer and mouse down so all this is saying is if it, the mode is by and I'm clicked then what we need to do is set the mode to wave so type that in and then broadcast a message and this is gonna trigger the balloon sprite to start spawning the balloons so what we're going to do is go into events, broadcast a message, and we're going to create a new message and call it start wave. What I also want to do is add a cool animation. And what this is going to do, it's going to make it look very cool. So take a look at that. It may be a little bit confusing, but make sure you have it down. If it's not working, then you can simply remove this block. But what this does is once we hide these variables, so let's hide show rotate info, wave, and mode, or let's show wave and bring it to the right side. Then as you can see, we have this cool size animation here. So once again, that's using this block. The next thing we want to do is make the balloons, once they receive that message to start the wave, to start spawning the clones. And we're gonna do that here. So the first thing to do is to go into events and drag in a when I receive start wave. And we can leave the hide in the one flag is clicked, but move the repeat here. And we can stop our program really quickly. What we want to do here is create a new variable called clone ID. And the reason we do this is because we want to make it so that only the main sprite, the one that's spawning the clones, listens for this message. And the way we do that is this. So first of all, we have to set clone ID to main. And so that's going to be for the sprite itself. And then when we create clones, we want to set the clone ID to balloon. And then we can, or let's do that before. And we only want to do this if we are the main sprite. And so the way to check that is to drag in an if and an equal sign and put main here. And as you may guess, we're going to put clone ID here. However, after spawning the balloons, we want to set clone ID back to main. So let's see how this looks. So first of all, we can hide this. But as you can see, no balloons are spawning. If I click start wave, the balloons start to spawn. I do think when the game starts, the wave should be set to one. So we get the, the very beginning of the game. And then after completing this, and let's move this block down. So after starting the wave and after it ends, this would be right here. We also want to set 
the mode back to buy because the wave mode is over. And the next thing we want to do is simply change the wave by one. So we get to the next level. There we go. So we start with one. Once we make it through, it will move to two and then three and four. And yeah. All right. Awesome. Well, first of all, let's test, right? So if we start the wave, what we can do right now is open our shop and bring this turret and we can actually use it to kill the balloons themselves. And that's a bug in our program that we really need to fix. And the way to solve this is pretty simple. So in our sprite one, right here, you can see we are opening the shop. However, we only want to do this if the mode is by. So we're going to go into control, drag in an if, and let's do it right here. We're going to bring in this equal sign and we're going to say if mode is by, then do this. However, we do want to tell the user that they can't use the shop during a game. So bring this out again and we're going to use an if else instead. And we drag in an if here. And then in the else side, we want to broadcast a message. So the name of the message is going to be to signal to the user that they can't open the shop right now. So it's going to be called show can't open shop. Now, what is this going to do? So first of all, let's just make sure this is working. If we start the wave, we can't open the shop. But if the wave hasn't started yet, we can. So that's working perfectly. And that stops us from doing that turret trick to kill all of the balloons. So in our sprite five, this is the alert sprite. So as you can see, we're using this. I am going to duplicate this and we're going to change the text to wait for the round to end. And this will go off whenever um, the user hits the shop during the wave mode. So we're going to set this to some kind of red just to show you shouldn't be doing that. Center it. And then we can duplicate this. And as you may guess, instead of receiving show rotate info, we should be looking for show can't open shop. It's also important to change the costume in both cases. So here we should change it to rotate info two and here rotate info one. Let's go ahead and rename these. So this is rotate info two. Let's rename it to can't open shop. And yeah, so as you can see, if we start the wave and the balloons are coming, we try to open the shop, sends this message, wait for the round to end. And then when the round ends, we'll be able to open this shop. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in part nine. Peace out.